Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Rule the Waves 3. So, well, Rule the Waves 3 is Japan. So, um, it is November 1905 and we are on the verge of war with France and probably not too long after uh, Britain because annoyingly France and Britain have decided to have an alliance. Now, between parts, I did a couple of minor things. I went ahead and finished adding the rest of our ships into divisions. <clears throat> um, I also switched our intelligence priorities from spying, well, not really spying, but, you know, trying to piss off China uh, so that we could go to war with them and, you know, get some nice, relatively quick and easy uh, war reparations uh, just to build up our economy uh, to dropping on to France and Britain so that we can try to hopefully be in a better position when um the war breaks out probably in the next couple of turns now we do need to readjust our budget slightly um and there's one thing that i wanted to look into um it's probably not something we're doing right this second but it is something i am wanting to look into nonetheless so these are negative two quality 12 inch guns. They have a max range of 11,400 yards and a max penetration of, we'll just say eight inches on the belt. Now we do have quality zero 11 inch guns and we can rebuild them into this. It is a bit pricier of a rebuild, but we can do that. That takes us to 12,350 yards with a max penetration of 8.8 .8 inches. We'll just round and say 9. So that basically gets us a extra inch of penetration and a couple hundred yards. Um, actually, well, I guess it's almost... I think that's actually almost a thousand extra yards. <clears throat> And these would actually be upgradable. These would actually be upgradable. Uh, when we get quality 1 and quality 2 11-inch guns, presumably at some point, we would actually be able to do upgrades. So we may consider doing these in the future to uh, give our guys a little bit extra longevity for the Shikashimas. But that's going to be a, you know, ways down the road type thing. Um, let me get my timer started, and uh, we're going to go ahead and move Battle Division 1 to Southeast Asia, so that if the war does in fact break out in the next couple of turns, we are in a position to hopefully be able to get a surprise attack against um, France. We're also going to go ahead and move some of these independent destroyer divisions down there as well um and you know what we're also going to go ahead and send a independent uh cruiser division as well this is the cruiser division that has the awates which it's been a few days since i recorded so just so i have a quick reminder of what the awates look like those are our 1903-ish designs, so they're about two years old, but they've had some upgrades since then. Uh, and these are our 10-inch uh, guns one. Okay, wonderful. Uh, double check. Okay, and they are negative one quality. Good. Let's go ahead and progress the turn. We're continuing to have our one coastal submarine finished every turn. Um, we may cancel that in the near future, though, but we'll see. Not this turn, but that's fine. In fact, in many ways, that's preferable. Now, France does have slightly less total um, blockade strength here. Our intel suggests that they have six battleships to our five, four armored cruisers to our five, three light cruisers to our four, and 20 destroyers to our 23. 
Britain themselves have one battleship and two light cruisers here. Though it does look like, uh, I mean, I guess we'll see next turn, but it does look like there is the potential that France might be bringing more ships over. But it's a little bit harder to tell if they're uh, just passing through or not. So I guess we'll find out in the near, in just a couple moments. Anti-Spanish rebellion in Cuba. After a naval visit by the U.S., you were asked by a journalist to comment. Oh, well, um, considering we have an alliance with the U.S., we probably shouldn't insult them. But we're not going to say that they're the best thing since sliced bread. Um, rather, we're happy to have hosted these fine ships with our friendly crews. Okay, yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think France is just passing through with their ships. Let's go ahead and did you literally just lose your commander? Really? Bring down those battleships as well because we're clearly going to need them. Now this does leave Northeast Asia basically undefended, uh, but the main thing we're relying on is that Neither Britain nor France have the ability to really station any sizable fleets in Northeast Asia, so they don't really need to have massive defenses there. Russia wants, yes. Good. Oh, good, and the new light cruisers have finished. That's exactly what I needed because the current. Uh, light cruiser division that is with battle division one um yeah they're not that good uh they have the hayama which is not a very good ship so we're gonna go ahead and take the hayama out it's gonna stay here i'm not gonna bother putting it in a division it doesn't need it i don't think it's really worth it Uh, you know, let's get these other submarines that finished. Get them to also move to Southeast Asia. Get a couple ships finished. There's our battle cruisers ready to go. We're going to go ahead and queue up two of those, even though we can't really afford it. Especially since we have a couple more Fujis that also need to be built. But uh, yeah, I don't care. It's that simple. I do not care if I cannot afford it. Um, yeah, that's the right class. God damn it. Sure. Seven hundred ton destroyers. Um, we may want to look into those. Six hundreds that are literally just coming out now. Um, one thing we also need to look into that we haven't really done is building fortifications. Um, I think we're going to go with six inch fortifications. Orange fortifications. Savings on machinery is always nice. Better accuracy. Tell you guys to again move to Southeast Asia so that the rest of the fleet will come down. Better industrial production means we get a little bit more money. You're above average. Yeah. 
got the you know what we got the prestige and you're above average i'm willing to sacrifice a little better operational range for our coastal subs wonderful on an unrelated note to the submarines let's go ahead and get some more six inch guns here Okay, so two more here because I like to have two coastal batteries per base is sort of what I use. Expensive. We're going to pause you for a bit. French battleship Richelieu, nine and a half inch belts armor. God damn, it's a big battleship. Really, dual nine inch secondaries. Okay, uh, nineteen knot speed. How does that compare to the Fujis? Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> uh, they're just catching up to the Shikashimas. So, um, yeah, that's not that great for them, honestly, I don't think. I think we are in a much better position than them. Thank you for the free 500 tonnage. Spain failed to hold on to Cuba. Okay, keep you paused. Some of the fortifications are almost done. Into our spy network in France, our government plans to declare war on us within the next six months. Okay. So we have six months, basically, to prepare for war. Well, up to six months, and that's assuming that their plans don't change. God damn, they have a large fleet already in Southeast Asia. I'm not looking forward to this war. Granted, it's largely more so just because Britain is... Uh, Britain will be involved at some point, unless they break their alliance. Which, I mean, I would love it if France and Britain would break their alliance. Make my life so much easier. Our minister is asking if you can guarantee a victory over France if war should come. Well, our trained navy, or our well-trained navy, they're not just trained, they are well-trained, will easily beat their collection of rusted old hulks. Ooh, superimposed X, wonderful. I like that very much. Need to... These go out to a max of six. Need to get the uh, the new destroyers out there as well. Um, and you guys, are th no, no, not you. You guys, you need one more. Again, tell you to move to Southeast Asia. What's our base capacity? Uh, okay, I mean, we're getting relatively close. We have a max base capacity of 220. We're at about 160. But speaking of now having superimposed X turrets. Ah, oh, goddamn. Ugh, wing turrets. Um, actually, let's go back. So that I can compare this to our existing designs. Twenty-two there. Five inch secondaries. Thank you, game. Four inch tertiaries, and we're gonna do them. Two inches on the belt, extended in the upper belt. Mm 
numbers divisible by five as well, if you don't mind, game. Thank you very much. Can I, oh yes, I can sneak in a 12. Can I do a 13? I can. I know I can't fit a 14, and 14 would make you want to be a battle cruiser, so that's okay. Now, this is a fairly sizable broadside. We would have a, what is that, an eight gun broadside? If we had a cross deck fire and we could move one of these down, we could, with certain positioning, be able to have a 10 gun broadside. But I think I'm okay with these, even though I'm not too big on wing turrets personally. I just don't like them. I I just I think they look hideous. I really do. Um, but I uh, I think it is uh probably a better idea to go with this. Now I know you're not gonna. Oh no, actually these are fine. Wonderful. Um, now can we just get rid of the tertiaries because I just don't care for them and just max out on the secondaries. We can, but that puts us overweight. Um, we haven't developed secondary turrets yet, so I can't put those in dual turrets. I think I'd rather have a 12 inch belt than a 11 inch belt, which we could afford to do. So I'm going to just, I think, drop some of these. How many guns can I have total? 36. So that would go to 16. How do I have to position these to get this to work? Okay, that works, but you don't really have the space for Upgrades. Hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. You wouldn't have, you would basically have to do a rebuild to position. I'm not sure if I really like that. Also, I don't think 90 ammo is really enough. We'll go down to single turreted wings. That saves a lot. We'll do an 11 and a half inch belt as a compromise. It's not quite what I want, but it'll do all right. We'll also armor this, the conning tower just a little bit more. Okay. It's the Aki that'll take four months. Damn. We won't be building those for a while anyway, so I guess it's okay. Use it to embarrass Spain. I need to increase tensions just a little bit. I, I don't want to fight you, Spain, because you don't have anything I want, but I do need to raise tensions just a little bit to give me a bit more money. Four six-inch turrets, or uh, coastal batteries here. Prioritizing Southeast Asia for coastal batteries because, well, that's where we need it. Tension is high between our ally, the USA, and France. How should we react? Oh, well, tell the USA we support them, whatever may come. Because I need them to do the same for me. Also, speaking of, one thing I haven't done in a while is uh, 
upgrade our or design a new minesweeper. Not that we really need one per se. God damn, how many freaking turrets are you putting on this thing? It just needs one. You don't need to put any armor on it either. We'll do 20 knot speed and we'll give it some secondaries, I guess, because why not? That's fine. Can we slap a 5 inch on this thing? No, it needs to be at least 1100 to have a 5 inch gun. Okay. Okay, well, this is our new Minesweeper design. Um, just do it like this. Wonderful. Um, and we will also, I think, go and design a new Sub Hunter, even though we haven't really invented... I wish I could type. Um, really any good Sub Hunting stuff. Like, we literally don't have any. At least we'll have the ship design. And, yes, fine. Use, I mean, it, I really don't think there's a significant cost difference there. It's like three bucks. Well, it's not technically three bucks, because I think all of these are multiplied like a hundred or something. So, you know, it's actually a fair bit of cash all things considered uh in the real world but it doesn't really matter and hey we have one less person on the ship so if uh things go horribly horribly wrong that is one less person who dies okay um, and you know, you guys can turret those, you know, they don't, they don't have to be casemate. I think I have them casemate on the other design because I didn't really catch it then, but yeah, they don't, they don't have to be casemated. Damn, they renewed their alliance. Fucking A, China. I'm not really interested in fighting you right now, but uh, you know what? I'll take the prestige intentions. Thank you very much. And now we're at war with France. Nope. Really, no opportunity for a surprise attack. I call BS. They may have a sizable fleet, but I find it highly unlikely that we literally do not have a single opportunity for... a surprise attack, but... Okay, okay, I'll, t I'll just take your word for it, game. I'll just take your word for it. I'll survive. I won't like it, but I'll survive. Let's go ahead and take Tonkin. Yep, yeah, we'll take Tonkin. Then we'll head down and we'll take Anam, and then Chochin, China, and uh, then we have nothing from France left, but hey, that'll kick them out of Southeast Asia, and if we do it fast enough, uh, they won't be able to really react until Britain gets involved and, you know, we'll have time to solidify our position when that happens. In theory. In theory, that's how it would work. Sorry, wait, what's this? Oh, peacetime missile storage. Wait, do we have to make the missiles in the background? I don't think it was like that. When I was playing the beta. Wait, did... Why? Really? They just decided, nope, we don't want to fight you? Damn it, Great Britain joined immediately. No, 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 no. Uh, Russia? Russia, 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 I need you to do your thing. America, I need you to do your things. Of course, they're both going to tell me to go and fuck off. Why am I not surprised? Hmm? 
Let's move to Southeast Asia as well, because I'm going to need you. Uh, you set support for Battle Division 3. You... Um... You set role, um, scout. I mean, technically, you probably should be screen. No, we'll go with core of Battle Division 3. And you will be a support for Cruiser Division 4. Everybody now... Do I have any ships that aren't in a division outside of the Hayama? Uh, oh, there's a couple of Nagatskis. Well, excuse me, there's one Nagatsuki that isn't. Or Nakatsuki, rather. Okay, there we go. Oh boy, and I don't have enough ships for trade protection. Till the uh, new okay, we got ten months, and I yeah, I just don't have enough ships that are capable of trade protection. Hmm. These guys aren't foreign station. I'm gonna have to take some of the minesweepers, which I don't really want to do. But got no choice. do we have in Southeast Asia? We have 18 subs in Southeast Asia. It's not very many, but it's something. We're also going to go ahead and stop building more because we can't really afford them, and it's not like they're super useful. Coastal subs, again, cannot be moved during war. They can only move during peacetime, so they're not doing anything except for the ones that are already in position. But yeah, so we're in a position where we're going to have to basically fight this ourselves. Um, long enough for Russia and America to find their balls and decide that, hey, Russia, or excuse me, that uh, Japan has a chance. I'm going to assume the reason we didn't get a surprise attack against France is just because we didn't have enough uh, ships in the area type thing. So we got our fancy new Fujis, the two of them that are in service, because we just don't have very many of them in service. Um, and we have the Shikishimas doing what the Shikishimas do, which is being the first generation of good battleships, because they were the first ones I designed. And they were a massive step up over the crappy freaking Fusos. Okay, so transports are here. For some reason, they look like they're heading north. But they're supposed to be heading west. So that you're not interfering with one another. These are the Asamas. Theoretically, actually max out at 19 knots, but just aren't managing to achieve 19 knots right now. Well, one of them isn't managing to achieve 19 knots, technically speaking. Spotted them with uh, the Awate. Awate spots another ship. And another. We got three ships spotted so far. These would be their scouts. Which, 
for them are light cruisers. We uh we kind of have some uh armored cruisers serving as scouts, which technically is not their role, but they can do it. It's just technically not their role. Oh, we spotted a whole bunch. That's probably their battle line. And we are very mistakenly confused as to what a Corvette looks like. That is apparently a bunch of armored cruisers, actually. Which has me confused in some ways, but we'll take it. Uh, now, our job here is going to be to sink as much of their stuff as we can with minimal losses. And I don't mind focusing on the little ships. I really don't. If they're going to keep, if they're going to have their battle line sail away from me, I'm not going to complain. Because I will just go for the cruisers and the destroyers. Because you know what? Those still count for something. So, I'm fine with this. I mean, I might have my my battleships just kind of try to sail for their battleships. Don't think that's a bad idea necessarily. I mean, that is what they're mostly intended for destroying. But if they get a couple of hits in on a armored cruiser or something along the way, well, all the better. Oh, yeah, okay, well, that was a five-inch hit. I mean, great, we landed our hit, but it's just a 5-inch hit. It's kind of meh. I'd love it if you guys could land yourself a 12-inch. I would absolutely love to see a 12-inch hit on one of these cruisers. Two light guns fired at you, which means those are like three or four inch guns, so that's their secondaries. Or tertiaries, which are two inch guns. Why the hell are they using two inch guns? Oh no, excuse me, three inch guns. Still the same thing. I wouldn't even have bothered with those personally in that scenario. Now, I would actually prefer for you guys to go for like their destroyers, if you don't mind. You know, if they get in range. Okay, here's one of their starting designs. And it is an abomination. Okay, this is like one of their first designs. And it's a bit better, but it's actually slower than the abomination. guys are way the hell off target. Um, you guys can sail up here now. Your light cruisers, although it's mostly my light cruisers against theirs. It's not quite what I'm looking for. Oof. You took a hit to the superstructure, but burst limited by the coal bunkers. We're ever so slowly catching up with the Fujis. Oh, 
five inch yet. Can we can we land a ten incher? Or excuse me, because these are the Asamas, actually an eight incher. Hit on one four inch hit. There we go. You are opening fire. You don't have a great firing solution because you only have central range finder. You guys didn't get the upgrade yet to central firing. Um, yeah, that's a thing. I think you guys were in the middle of something else. I think it might have been your engine upgrade or something. And I just kind of forgot to send you guys back in to upgrade your fire control. But that's fine. Bunch of destroyers up there, so that's their main battle line, it looks like. Five inch hit. Come on, I know you can land a 12 incher. Five inch hit again. Fuji. No, they killed the captain! And a fire started on the bridge, but it. It's not causing any major damage, so we'll survive. Uh, no, 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 no. Your priority target is the battleships. Thank you very much. Pretty sure they have torpedoes that are actually probably roughly on par with ours, if not potentially better. damage I would like. So I forgot to tell you guys to turn north. That's my bad. You know, no. You, you guys keep going 19 knots. Eventually the, uh, the Azuma will break off. Your accuracy so bad. Uh, well, the range changing every tick doesn't really help, but that's sort of canceled out by the national accuracy, so whatever. And, you know, crew quality as well is an option. on early AI design. Five inch, five inch. Nine inch hit, there we go. That's a little bit more like it, Kasuga. Fairly certain you're not going to have a firing arc, but, you know, just to check it, because why not? Yeah, I mean, even if you did, it wasn't going to hit anyway. I can pretty much guarantee you that, but it doesn't hurt to check it. Five inch hits. Yeah. 
you turn south. Um, you turn east. Guy's not doing too hot. Uh, we still, I don't think we've landed a single 12 inch hit to be completely honest with you. I really don't. Maybe I missed it, but I don't think we have. Whoops. Um, you guys turn south. You guys turn north. Oh my god. You guys need to focus on this destroyer that's trying to charge you. Just absolutely ruin its day. Break off. Because he's turning away. Potentially after having fired a torpedo. Okay, that's one destroyer down. Fuji's. Uh, Fuji's, you're going to turn off away. I don't want you to potentially get in the firing arc of that destroyer there. You need to turn in. That destroyer is dead in the water. Turn off. You turn north. You turn westish. You guys went just a little too far south. That's obviously my bad. I forgot about you. Tom is not firing at anything. Sure, if you think you can safely pick up some survivors, be my guest. Don't think we've done nearly as much damage to these guys as I would have liked. But that's partly because they basically beelined for the port. Only so much you can do in the enemy beelines for safety. And I think that was them literally just teleporting into port. So, that's done. Now we just kind of wait for the transports to arrive, I guess. Just go down to cruising speed because there's really nothing else we can do. Decided they did not really have an interest in fighting us. Fortunately, they started just far enough away, particularly their battleships, that we weren't really able to do too much. Well, survive. We can, um, I don't know, send some of the ships over here to make sure there's no defensive positions here and just destroy them. Somebody's being shot at. Oh, it's you. Uh, you're a light cruiser, so you probably don't want to be going up there, but we can send one of the armored cruiser teams up there. A bunch of four inch gun batteries. We can destroy these relatively quickly. Don't know why we're having a hard time turning in here.
seems like this um here is not quite accurately modeled. Because the guys just kind of seem to be doing whatever the hell they want to get around here. Yeah, I don't even fucking know what they're doing. And yeah, no, it's going to be ages until day comes back and we're able to see shit. Destroy that one, and then lose sight of it. And I think he actually hit you. I just tell the rest of these guys to sail out into the ocean. Because they clearly don't know what the hell they're doing. really do not get what the hell's going on here. And I imagine it's probably going to end up causing issues with our transports. I just, I'm calling it now. Our transports are going to have a hard time being able to actually make it to the position that they're supposed to go to. Because it seems like there's like some weird invisible wall here that you have to like just kind of get around and then that gets you inside. Sometimes. But then you might sometimes just find yourself outside of it. And there's just not much you can do about it. They seem to be having a similar issue up north. God, this is actually very annoying. I don't know what the hell's going on with the land features here. But something's off with it. is just causing issues like there's no tomorrow I don't yep yeah, okay we lost the transport because of it well I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna blame that on this navigation right here being all kinds of screwed up because we can't get our guys close enough to be in a position to be able to see the ground or you know the land features there that are firing on them so that we can sink them or well not sink them but destroy them But sometimes a ship manages to get itself in there, and then it gets fired upon and then sunk. I don't know why. I don't know what the deal is here. And we just can't really do much until... Day.
And that's assuming that daybreak happens again before this ends, which, granted, you know, turning that on probably didn't help with ensuring... Stugly probably didn't. But what happened? It's just can't really do much. We can't see here. We can't get into a position that allows us to be able to see the frigging land features for more than a couple of minutes. I don't know how many transports we've lost, but I feel like we probably lost enough to where we may not be able to get um, all of the ones that we want. Or that we need to be able to fill the objective. I'm only seeing, it looks like two, and that's about to be one. Because something's just screwed up right here. I want to know who picked this landing site, and I want them shot. Because this is an atrocious landing site. You know what? We're just going to say fuck it and leave. It's, it's not even worth trying to wait around until day finally breaks again, because it's so far out. Uh, well, goddammit, now it's actually fairly close. But it doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't really matter. Because we've already lost the transports. So it doesn't really make a difference. It's just to say that we did, and of course we lost a shit ton of frickin' destroyers as well as a result of this. It, it, it's just not really doing nearly enough damage to these things. We're claiming medium damage on this, but I don't know how the hell you're coming to that conclusion. Yeah, but, so, yeah, we lost all of our transports. Um, oh, no, we got one more down here, it looks like, and uh, that's probably it. That's probably the last one. So we'll just get to say, hey, we stuck around and got revenge for all the guys who died on the boats. We'll blame it on the army's incompetence. They shouldn't have picked that landing site. Maybe we should have just marched through uh, through China here. Up through China, then down into Vietnam here. I mean, what is China going to do? Throw a fit? I mean, it's not like they can really do anything to us. Claiming heavy damage because of the no, no, we're definitely not claiming damage amounts based off of guns being disabled because that's in no way true. At least it's not, you know, consistent. You guys are going the wrong way. It 
this is off to such a great start. This war is off to an absolutely wondrous start. As it ever so slowly ticks by. Yep, France won that, I'm not surprised. So what happens when they decide to flee into port immediately? Doesn't, doesn't actually matter because this is literally nobody's home area with the exception of China. Blockade strength means literally nothing. Oh, look at that. There's a, an absolutely massive British fleet in uh, the Mediterranean that's probably on its way here. Um, and then we're just going to be absolutely fucked. Oh, we're going to try again. And you know what? Fuck it. We'll make this be a long part. But then I'm probably only recording this one today. And of course, guess what? We chose the same fucking landing site because whoever the hell it was that came up with this whole decision-making process is an absolute idiot who never learns from their mistakes. They said, well, it's not my fault you guys failed last time. Maybe choose a better landing site, one where our ships can, you know, actually support the landing forces. I know it's a shocker that that's a, you know, concept. This time it looks like we got a couple of British ships that actually joined in. I think the last time it was just literally all French. But hey, at least we can sink a couple of British ships, maybe. Ooh, six inch gun, or excuse me, six inch, okay, that's an armored cruiser. I was gonna say six inch turrets on a, or six inch guns on a light cruiser, but no, this is not a light cruiser, this is an armored cruiser. It is an armored cruiser masquerading as a light cruiser, considering the armament. I wholeheartedly believe that. You do not put 6-inch primary guns on an armored cruiser. You just don't. I don't even know where the hell our transports are. I guess they're over there. Why are they so far ahead? Who let the transports leave before the escorting fleet? Oh my god. Whoever the hell is the decision maker for this invasion, as well, needs to be shot. I'm going to assume it's the cousin of the guy who decided the last one. gun jammed in it. Yep. What happened to you? Oh, gun jammed. Everybody's gun jammed. Hey, look at that. They're fleeing back to port again. I should not be shocked by this. Somebody, I think, just took a hit to the engine room. Who was that? Oh, the Kasuga. Uh, where are you, Kasuga? Oh, you don't care about it. Your engine room got hit twice. Once with a 12-inch gun and you just kind of shrugged it off. Or, excuse me, a 12-inch shell and you just shrugged it off. You don't have the armor to just shrug off 12-inch hits. 
you don't. I don't know how the hell you're just like, whatever. I'll just walk it off. Again, I don't think last time we ever managed any 12-inch uh, hits. So I would love for us to land at least a couple, maybe, possibly. You know, that'd be, that'd be nice. I know our guys aren't the best shots, and I know our fire controls are not the greatest. Oops. Uh, if I could hit the right thing. Oh, they got control tops. Um, our fire control is on a automatic range transmitter. I'm, I don't know if time ahead if that's better. I'd have to check afterwards. Um, France is also on control tops. Germany, don't know about Russia. USA is on control tops. Italy's on control tops. Spain is on a six foot range finder. Uh, same with China. Ooh, China's building a dreadnought. Oh, of course they're building it in Britain, because where the hell else would they be building it? Chits. Come on, game. Give me a 12. I need a 12-inch hit. Just one will do. And I'll be happy. Twelve inch hit on a cruiser. I mean, I'll take it on a battleship as well, but I'm perfectly fine if it's just on a cruiser. Need these light cruisers to turn back around because our battleships are basically sailing into their destroyers. We don't quite have enough uh, guns to dissuade the destroyers from. Oh, yes, yes. We got a 12 inch hit. I don't know if it, you know, how much damage it actually did, but we got a 12 inch hit. So, I'm, you know what? I'm happy. We finally got one. Again, I don't think we got any in the last battle. Whichever one of these it is that's just kind of straggling. I can't tell what division this guy's in to be able to give an accurate um, targeting request. There we go, 12 inch hit on you. Well, we seem to be aiming for you, so whatever we're currently shooting at is uh okay it's apparently the battle cruiser division which is not actually composed of battle cruisers according to our intel it's composed of pre-dreadnoughts another 12 inch hit on you you seem to be potentially feeling it we're reporting light damage on you now Shit, Kasuga's not having a fun time. You are going the wrong way, buddy. I need you to... I need the Awatas to sail over here because these guys, I think, are trying to go for our transports. Shit. Come on. Give me some more 12-inch hits. Just a little bit. 
medium damage on you now. Annoyingly, I don't know what it is about Rule of the Waves 3 here, but for some reason when you hover over enemy ships, it doesn't seem to actually... Um, you know, in Rule of the Waves 2, when you would hover over an enemy ship, it would this picture down here would change to the enemy ship you were looking at. That doesn't seem to happen in Rule of the Waves 3 for some reason, and I'm, it's kind of annoying. Because it was a nice, easy way to be able to, at a quick glance, see if, like, they got a disabled turret or whatever. But you actually now have to scroll into the ship you're wanting to look at to see that type of stuff. I, I don't know why it doesn't seem to register down here for... enemy ships. I, I really don't. It makes zero sense to me. Yeah, they're sailing into port again. Can we just sink a fucking battleship? You know, I'd be happy with that. If we sink a battleship, I'd be okay with that. Even if it is this ancient piece of crap that they had at game start. I mean, I would like to sink something that's modern, preferably. But I'll survive if I just sink an ancient piece of crap. I'm going to break off. And granted, I can probably send the... Um, how close is night? Uh, okay, yeah, we need to get our asses over here so we can sink, destroy those uh, freaking 4-inch gun batteries. Uh, are these the tiny ones, or no? no these are the 500-ton ones. Get in there. So, line ahead, people. I do not like line abreast. It's not necessarily because it's bad. I just don't think it's better. managed to turn out, you know, just the right moment to avoid being hit. What a shocker. He's basically dead in the water. Sagami fire one as well. So they sunk one of our one of our destroyers, but in exchange we sunk a battleship, and you know lightly damaged a couple of other things. Now we just need to you know try to manage to get over here and have the invasion be able to actually happen. But uh, same issue happens again. And we need to rely on. We need to rely on freaking what little daylight we have left. I'm just gonna tell you guys to fucking stop moving. Oh, hey, this time the game decided to count them as having arrived. What changed? 
No, really, game, what changed? What was different this time that they count as having arrived? Well, that wasn't the case before. You guys have uh, both of them inside of your ability to fire. Um, you're going to break off. Oh, nope, never mind. Stay the course and just stop. Just kind of sit here and try to destroy them before uh, before night comes. That's probably fine. Right. So you guys, how about you go to port, eh? You guys just leave. The rest of them can just kind of sit here. And, uh, oh, hey, look at that. Night's coming. Maybe I'll destroy these in time, unfortunately. Uh, well, this time the game decided that our guys completed their objective, so we're going to leave. There's not much reason for us to just kind of sit here. I mean, we we could, I guess, technically... it. Why not? We'll just sit here until the game determines that this is over. At least we get to do uh, ultra fast or not. Somebody spotted something or got close enough to be fired upon a little bit. One of the two. Not quite sure which. I'm going to tell all of the destroyers to just kind of leave. Because they're not going to contribute anything. Well, at least not anything of worth. And they're just going to get sunk. Or at least risk getting sunk. We got some transports that are still trying to make it to the destination. That way they can stop moving. Well, that's going to be a while. But hey, since our, our guys technically made it this time, that's, uh, what is that, 80,000 points? Yeah, 80,000 points in our favor, which means the battle is technically going to be a win for us. And so we will be sieging down uh, Tonkin. And we just have the joy of trying to, uh, you know, support the army. Which is going to be fun. In a way. Okay, we might get a little bit of daylight potentially to try and destroy those a bit more, but we're probably not going to destroy them.
see them, but uh, we're not. Oh, never mind. We didn't see them. Now we do. We need to wait just a bit more. Where the hell is the guy you're trying to pick up? Jesus Christ, Ayama. Just get the fuck out of there. Just, oh my god. Just leave. Squadron Max, just get the hell out of there. I really don't know what the hell the issue is with the terrain right here, but you know what? If this is considered a success, at least we don't have to worry about it. And I don't know why I keep saying yes to that. I, I really shouldn't be bothering saying yes to that because you're not going anywhere. Because good luck actually reaching the person you're trying to get to. Six thousand for that. Hot damn. It wasn't that good of a battle. Sure, I'll take your 13-inch uh, negative 2 quality guns. Okay, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, we took Tonkin super quickly, literally the same turn where we successfully invaded. I'm, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel about that. Okay, we took that. Um, that increases our base capacity, which is nice. We can fit about another 100 uh, ships worth of points. This, uh, in theory, depending upon... I don't know how many ships they're at. Because this, I believe, is our blockade score. Which is irrelevant here. No, that doesn't seem right, because enemy blockade strength here is listed as 83 for Britain, plus 74 from their ally France. Which also is reversed here, enemy blockade strength, France 74 plus Great Britain ally 69. Oh, never mind. But yeah, no, that doesn't make any sense. What? I don't get the logic here. So somehow, France is supplying Britain with an equal amount of of blockade strength as what they provide themselves. But Britain, on the other hand, is providing a smaller amount of blockade strength to France compared to what they provide themselves. Huh? That logic, that, no. That does not work. No matter how you no matter how you try to do it, game, that does not work. The says some battleships coming. Damn, I don't have intel on them. Really, France doesn't have any or excuse me, um dreadnoughts. Really, France doesn't have any of their own. Ooh, we got the revenge here. 12 12 inch guns, 10 inch belt. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, uh, we took Tonkin. Uh, quite a bit faster than I would have anticipated, all things considered. Um, I would absolutely love to tank Hong Kong because that is 200 base capacity that the Brits lose and then also France loses some as well. And interestingly, it looks to be where the vast majority of their um, base capacity is actually coming from in Southeast Asia. You know what? We need to take Hong Kong. And the reason for that is simply that if we take Hong Kong, they can't have as many ships here. And if they can't have as many ships here, they're less likely to station a large navy here. Because they won't be able to actually afford it. Because what will happen is when you go over your base capacity, you start having more ships that have um, issues that won't be able to go into a fight, things like that. Because... In theory, there is not enough capacity at each of the naval bases to be able to maintain, refuel, rearm, repair, etc. the ships. So if we take Hong Kong, that's 200 points for Britain lost, and then however many they end up sharing with, um, with France, because you do get a little bit of whatever your allies have for base capacity. You know, the, the point of this is, you know, you can use somewhat the bases provided by your allies there really are not like any dreadnoughts out there frankly i'm actually surprised that china's trying to sneak one in you know the reality is i don't know if these fujis are worth continuing Oh, they're already queued up. This one I don't think has actually had any production done on it. So I think we're going to scrap the Yashima just because we don't care for it anymore. Um, I think say you as a raider. Because you don't really have anything else you can do that's useful at least. Fuji's are going to have to get their upgrades at some point to get central firing because it's better than uh, central range finding. But uh, that's going to be it for this part. I will see you all next time where we will be continuing our efforts. And uh, it's, it's okay so far. You know, we took Tonkin. I'm frankly, I'm surprised. I don't know how the hell we took that literally the same turn that we managed to successfully invade it, but I won't complain. I will take it. I will be happy about it, but I am confused. And uh, hopefully next turn we manage to take Hong Kong relatively quickly with minimal issues. Again, I want whoever decided those invasions of Tonkin who decided we're going to try and invade right here twice I want that person shot because they're an idiot I don't care if it's them and their cousin both of them need to be shot they are not helpful that was an absolutely stupid decision to try to do in the invasion there especially the second person first one failed I know, I have a brilliant idea. We'll do the same thing again. They'll never expect it. Apparently, we uh, recruited... God, what's his name? God damn it. I'm blanking on his name. The general from Blackadder goes forth. General Melchit, that's what I was thinking. I just couldn't recall if that was the name. But yeah, apparently it seems um, that's who we hired, um, or rather the Japanese equivalent of General Melchett. Because, yeah, no. No, you idiot. But that's going to be it for this part. I will see you all next time, like I said, where we will be hopefully invading Hong Kong with minimal issue. Um, also, one thing I want to check real quick on the 
Ooh, France is slightly above us in terms of uh, dockyard size, but I don't really have the money to afford to increase our dockyards any further right this second. So, yeah. Now, I think... Oh, I don't have the option to uh, actually pull up the design for these, but I believe, yeah, these upgrade on their own. So there's never any worries about them just not being... Wait, wait, hold on. You have submerged torpedo tubes on... On a coastal battery. I... I... What? I mean, I... I get... If it's close enough to the edge, you can do that? Sure? I... I don't know what the chances of it actually being able to hit a target is. Generally speaking, I didn't even realize coastal batteries could have torpedo tubes. Also, apparently they don't upgrade their fire controls, uh, you know, as quickly as our stuff does, because uh, they still have central range finding instead of central firing. I am... I am very confused. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Oh boy. That just makes no sense to me. Whatever. Moving on. See you all next time, like I had already said multiple times now. Till then, goodbye and farewell.